Hello, I hope this works. So the other day, I was talking to my friends, and I was a little bit awesome, and I realized that a lot of times I can take very mundane subjects, and if I ramble on long enough, they become really deep and philosophical. So I thought, hey, I'm going to try that right now, to the tune of, like, really bad electronica music. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So the subject that was originally brought up was, if there is, if there was a button placed upon you, and pressing this button would grant you one million dollars. Would you press it? Of course you would. However, the catch is that pressing this button would also kill a random person in the world. So, would you press it? And it was very laughable, very mundane of a subject, but I really overthought it. I'm like, would I press that button? I could kill a loving person, a very nice person, but I could also kill a complete douchebag. So, and also a million dollars, that's really nice, set me off, set me off, I'll, I'll invest it properly and take over the world, it'd be great. So, I was, I really debated this, and my friend came to the conclusion that, no, you don't debate it, you just keep pressing the button over and over and over again. You rack up tens of trillions of dollars, wipe out half the population, but then you buy everything and rule the world. So, I thought that was a bit extreme, a little bit extreme, but fun in saying when you're a little bit awesome. So, I thought about it, and I was like, could you justify it? Could you justify, say, pressing the button a thousand times, and getting a, tr a bajillion dollars, and investing it in, like, curing cancer? And then you would save more than a thousand people, so those thousand people wouldn't amount to the kajillions you save. But getting into it, we were like, well, what defines a bad person? Well, obviously a bad person could be a hateful person, it could be an ignorant person, but then what describes ignorance? Because there's different levels of ignorance. There's ignorance for ethnicity, like someone can hate you because you look like me, in which it's very understandable. Or someone can hate you for your sexuality, like me, because I'm obviously very, very, very straight and gay at the same time. I'm sorry, I can't control myself. Music and awesomeness. So, what defines a bad person? The ignorance. The ignorance can carry over to other things. People cannot realize they're ignorant. There are people that won't listen to certain types of music. That is an ignorance, and that will carry over to different parts of life. There's ignorance of politics, where someone will only vote for one party. So where do you stop and stop with the ignorance? Do you stop and start where there's someone, like, how nice they are? Because you could have a really nice person who's dumb as shit and would want only the worst for the world. Like, you could probably find some 20-year-old out there who just thinks everything should be made out of jello, and that would be fucking awesome to him. However... That's not a very good idea, and he's probably a dumb. He could be a very cool guy, but the Joe idea is very, very, very bad. So, we got talking deeper and deeper and deeper, and just really dumb, mundane stuff came up. Like, we started talking about balloons, because we had this little balloon that we were patting around that you wouldn't let it hit the ground. You can't, you can't let the balloon hit the ground, because if you let the balloon hit the ground, then you have failed as a member of society. You should be the victim of the big red button if you drop the balloon. But then what's the point of balloons, you may ask? Because in mass, like, think about it, like a, a thousand balloons might cost fifty dollars. And with that fifty dollars, you could buy better things than a thousand balloons. You could feed a starving person for a month. You know, someone in Africa or a college student, like a month's worth of ramen noodles. And that's a lot of ramen noodles. Oh my god, that'd be great right now. So it's like, what's the point of balloons? You could put the money elsewhere. But then you can easily say, well, the balloons buy happiness. They give you happiness. Balloons are fucking awesome. So they're very happy. They're very special. They're very fun to punch, and they're very fun to pop and scare the shit out of people by doing that. Although they're depressing when they fly off. When they fly off, it's like a dream has said goodbye to you. It's kind of like letting go of that girl knowing she'll never return as she walks off into the distance, and you gaze her down, not because you're staring at her sexually, but because you wonder, where is she going? Drop. Oh, there's not a drop. There's not a drop. No, it is. Yay, house music. So, what's the point of balloons? Well, I guess it should be happiness, but then you could say, well, different things bring different happiness. Like, cake gives me a lot of happiness, both the band and the food. If someone offered me a piece of cake right now, they just burst in through my window and said, hey, man, here's some fucking cake. I'd be pretty sad after that. I'd be, I'd be pretty pumped, pretty amped. I think my night would be made. I mean, I'd be pretty upset about him breaking through my window like that and asking to replace it. But depending on how good the cake is, it's dependent, it's dependent on how mad I am. Now, I, I, I switch those back and forth. Depending on how mad I, 
my madness would depend on how good the cake is. So I can't talk right now with this music. I've actually had to quit from jobs before. It's just too much going on mentally. Because I'm all twitchy. So, at what point do you define different happiness as good and bad? Because I'm sure a serial killer gets a lot of happiness out of, like, kicking things. He loves to kick things. But that's not right, but it brings him happiness. So where do you define happiness? Where do you draw the line? Where do you say my happiness is okay and your happiness is not? Well, it could obviously be, as long as you're not disturbing someone else, then your happiness is fine. But then you can easily bring other things to the equation. Like, if I listen to, say, Nickelback, and I love that band, and they make me really happy, which I don't, please don't think I'm that way, please, please, that'd be worse than you thinking I'm gay, thinking I like Nickelback. But let's say I really like that band, and they made me happy. You know, am I am I wrong for listening to them out loud because they would bother other people? But then you say you don't bring other people into it, and so all of a sudden, something as mundane as music taste all of a sudden becomes this ignorant, hateful thing. And it's just, it's really weird how the line of hate and the line of liking things is so thin. You have to be so careful. And someone could easily say, don't give a fuck, which, you know... A lot of times I don't have the, the correct answer. But be nice to people, be a happy person, do the best to be happy, and don't look, listen to Nickelback. This is this was Taylor speaking. Uh-oh, I gotta pause before it goes to the next song. That actually, that actually was not on my computer. I was streaming that. I just just Googled around for some Electro House on the SoundCloud, and well, I didn't Google, I searched. And I found that. So anyway, if this has told you anything, this hasn't taught me a thing, it's that don't talk over that music, you you can't do it, and that don't listen to Nickelback and other such music. Actually, just don't listen to music. Just don't listen to music, period, and you'll be better off. Unless it's good music, but I can assure you no, no one's listening to good music. No one! So, this was Taylor, being a little bit too awesome, feeling the need to make a video, and... I hope that it taught you something that it didn't teach me. S tune into my videos later, because eventually when I get my first paycheck, I will be b buying be better audio equipment. And my videos will be such high quality that everyone will tune in, everyone will love the videos. And you won't be able to say, hey, I liked him before he was cool. I'm not saying I'll be cool then, I probably won't. But you could say, I liked him before other people felt bad for him. So, tune in, subscribe, view all my videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.